buddy gave me this uh, engine for free, 350. It's out of a 89 three quarter ton. Just needs a little bit of assembly. When I picked up this engine, uh, my buddy he had taken the uh, lifters out and pulled the cam out to make sure that everything was okay, and he just hasn't readjusted any of the lifters yet. There's an easy way that you can get them set up so that it'll be close enough to get it to fire up and then you can do a running adjustment on them afterwards. So chances are if you've had it apart this far you've had the timing cover off. You can see those two marks right there. You have to line those two up together and that is the number six firing position when those two are together. So the two timing marks are together right here right now and that's uh, number six firing position and I've got this old Chilton's book it's for 1970 to 1980 but this rule also applies to this engine here As you can see, I've used this page lots of times, and it uh, describes how to set the valve backlash on it. Actually, the page comes right out already. So I'm going to use, going to keep this paper handy here. <clears throat> Number one cylinder, the one facing forward the farthest. Um, it's the driver's side cylinder. So I'll show you how to adjust the backlash and the first valve over here will be your exhaust valve because it's right next to where the exhaust manifold bolts on and you need a 5 8 socket you can see the push rod down here and this one here is the exhaust one Keep tightening it down until you can't, can't feel any more play in there. So as soon as you feel that uh, it's starting to push down on the lifter, and you need to tighten it down another half a turn, and then you're set. So I've got the number two exhaust valve set. So I'm reading off all the ones that I can set on the number six firing position. And I'm going to include this in the description of the video. This way you can just copy and paste it on something and print it if you want. Uh, I'll give you the instructions that I've got here on this page. So at the number six firing position I can adjust the number two exhaust on this side of the engine. So this is number six exhaust. Same thing, just once there's no backlash here. That's it snug. And give it a half a turn. And that's good. Also on this side I can do number four intake. This one. And if you get all of a sudden feel it getting too tight, then loosen that off until you're sure where you're at. And number eight intake. All the odd numbers. Number five exhaust. Five. Number seven exhaust. And number three intake. One, three intake. So at the number six firing position, once you've done all the ones that I just did, then you should have exactly half of all the valves done, which is eight. 
So, you sh should be able to see which ones are tightened down. I just count the ones that I've tightened and make sure that I got all eight. Once you've done all the ones at the number six firing position, then you need to turn the crank over one full of revolution. I've got this mark on this gear up and the mark on this gear is also up at the top and that is your number one firing position when these two dots are at the top. So at the number one firing position I can adjust the, on the even side I can do the number four exhaust now number 8 exhaust, number 2 intake. So now all the ones on this side look like they're adjusted. Now on the outside, Intake and exhaust. Number three exhaust. Number five and seven intake. So after you get it done, just look them over and make sure that uh, none of these have slipped out of place while you were adjusting them. Good. And now we're at number one firing position, which will be good for when we put the distributor in. If you want to see how to install a distributor on a small block chev, watch my video. I'll post a link right here.